Hello, my name is Michael Chess, and I'm a technical product manager on the AWS Glue Data Catalog and AWS Lake Formation. Today, I'll be talking about how to create Glue Data Catalog views and query them from Amazon Athena and Amazon Redshift. AWS Glue Data Catalog views allow you to do a few things that are extremely useful in the data lake. First, you can create one view schema and query that same view from multiple engines by creating a separate dialect for each engine that you want to query. And I'll show how to do that a little bit later. Additionally, you can grant permissions on a view using AWS Lake Formation permissions. And when you do so, you only need to grant on the view and not the tables referenced in the view. This means that consumers can query the view without having access to the underlying data. Additionally, you can share views across accounts and link across regions the same way that you would with tables. Now, I'll show a demo of how to use views in the AWS console. Here, in the AWS Lake Formation console, we have a demo database containing tables with the highest earning esports teams, the highest earning esports players, and a helper table with information about countries and continents and their codes. If we take a look at the highest earning players list, we can see that it contains information about the players and a code indicating what country they play in. If I navigate to the Amazon Redshift Query Editor v2 console, you can see a Create External Protected View statement called Europe Players. This view filters out all of the players who play in Europe. We can see that this is accomplished by matching the player's country code with the two-letter country code in the country's helper table and then validating that that country's continent code is Europe. If I click the Run button, I will now create a view. If I navigate to this query, you can see a select star statement from the view I just created. And you can see that only countries in Europe are selected. If I now navigate to the AWS Lake Formation console to our new Views tab in the left nav, you can see that I have two views, one filtering out Europe players and the other filtering out US players. If I take a look at the view we just created, we can see that it has the columns that I specified. Additionally, you can see a SQL definitions tab containing a Redshift SQL definition. If I navigate to the Amazon Athena console, I can now alter the view I just created to add a dialect for Amazon Athena. Here you can see an alter view statement, add dialect as, and then a query. This will add a dialect for Amazon Athena to the view I just created, which will be used when that view is queried from Amazon Athena. Here you can see the same logic that I included in the Redshift view. If I execute this alter, a new dialect will be added to the view. I can now navigate to a query against that view and query it from Amazon Athena. And you'll see that I get the same results that I got from Amazon Redshift, only countries that are in Europe. If I navigate back to my view in the AWS Lake Formation console, we can see that in the SQL definitions list, a definition for Amazon Athena has been added. If I now want to grant access to this view to a different principal who doesn't have access to the underlying tables, I can do so from the Actions tab in the upper right, the same way that I would for a table. Here, I select Grant, and we can see that in Name Data Catalog Resources, the view has already been selected. Now I can navigate down to the bottom and choose the select permission to grant. Up above, I will pick a non-admin principal to whom I would like to grant permissions. If I now navigate to the Amazon Athena console on behalf of the non-admin principal to whom I just granted privileges, we can see that this principal can only see the Europe players view and cannot see any of the underlying tables. Despite not being able to see the underlying tables, 
I can still query this view on behalf of this principle. And we can see that the same results that the admin principle saw are seen from this non-admin principle. If I navigate to this query against the base table, I can see that this principle cannot query the base table. Here we have a demonstration of how this principle can query the view, but not the base table. Thank you for watching this demo on how AWS Glue Data Catalog views work. For more information, please see our documentation at docs.aws.amazon.com in our Working with Views section, or in the documentation of one of our compatible engines, Amazon EMR, Amazon Athena, or Amazon Redshift. Thank you.